All right, hey everybody, welcome back to the homestead. So today I wanna to review a product for you that I hope is gonna make my life easier and maybe will make your life easier. I haven't used it before, I just opened the box. And if you can see here, here is the product. It is the Jaw Boss Log Holder. So, and it is a hitch mount log holder. And if you cut wood or you're cutting branches up, then you probably understand why I wanted to get this. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Let's go ahead and unbox it. But first, I need to remove my hitch. Currently, Probably not going to be so simple. Yep, that's what I thought. I'm going to get a hammer for that. Wow, there's. Alright, finally got that out. So, has the hitch bar, which I'm assuming goes in here. that cleaned out. pieces. Let's look. All right. Two of these. Bolts. And instructions. These pieces. No sense. Like that. Like that. Five bolts, five nuts, and those two pieces. Yep. This comes with five bolts, five nuts, two of these. Directions. Hey. On that. Put that on there. All right. And these pieces. folks first mistake you see the writing on here it's upside down yeah that's because I put it on upside down and those just fit in there so let's try this again so bottom hole is farther back so you want to slant it like that I was just trying to put the writing towards the camera. These pieces go in 
in between as uh, like washers, I guess. Keep it spaced appropriately. go get some tools to tighten these down and give you a closer look. Okay, as you can see, you got your hitch bar that goes in there. These two pieces with one bolt that go in here. These two pieces and there's four bolts. Two that anchor it onto the blue bar and two that hold it together. It's pretty simple construction. Careful when you're putting stuff on you cut yourself on these teeth. So it's fairly simple how it goes. The log goes in here. This will hold it from falling down and this holds it from side to side. And this is gonna hold your logs off the ground so, they make <clears throat> so that it makes it easier for you to cut them up. So here on the homestead, we heat our house solely by wood. So I have to cut a lot of wood up every year. Last year I spent over a thousand dollars on wood, several cords. So this year I'm doing all my own, but I get a bunch of free wood from my neighbor who cuts down trees. He uses most of the trunk, but I get all the branches. And you can see the problem with this. So when you're using your chainsaw and you want to cut these up, you know, you got to move them around, you cut them up. Your chainsaw will sometimes grab on ones and then they'll hit a kick. Dangerous. So when you get to the ones on the ground and you're cutting them down low to the ground there, and saw blade is dull, and then you have to sharpen it, which is another pain in the butt. So to avoid the dangers of cutting wood in a pile like this, and to speed up the process, because even if you take this off, so what I normally do is pull them out, and I lean them, and then you cut a piece off here. Half the time, this chainsaw is going to pull this. It's going to pull it down because there's nothing holding it in place gonna be all wobbly then you have to move it and you cut it and you move it and you cut it and you move it it's just time-consuming and when you've got to cut up all this wood you can see the size of this pile right here and then I have another one another pile farther over that way that I got to get to as well so I asked for that jaw boss for Christmas and we're gonna give it a shot and see how well it works
this last log was a little bit big for me to be trying to get up on there by myself. But, let's see, it's a pretty decent sized log. Five inches, six inches, and it was really long. But man, so this holds the log steady. So a couple of things I wanted to mention, as long as you don't cut behind the orange things, you're not gonna cut the bar. It doesn't stick out beyond that, which is kind of a no brainer, but it is something worth mentioning that I thought was cool. It also holds the log very stable, which I wasn't quite so sure that it was gonna do, but it does a really good job at holding the log stable, even after you put your chainsaw on it. This small logs, I mean look. Small logs, big logs, I mean, this is a pretty good thing. Not to mention it's hooked up to your hitch, so if you're going to work out in the field, you can drive your truck out there, take it to the field, cut your wood up, toss it in the back of your truck, and bring it home. All in all, so far, I'm 100% happy with this. Now, I think we got this off of eBay. It was somewhere around 150 bucks. I don't know. It was a Christmas gift, but it will be around that price range. I highly recommend it. It's going to save you, could save you from injury tripping over that, getting the chainsaw kickback, cutting yourself or worse. So highly recommend the Jaw Boss. It's well built. It's pretty solid. I could barely pick that last log up here and I got it on here and it didn't it didn't phase the Jaw Boss at all. So highly recommend it.
so I just have a few of those that are too long to fit into my furnace I got to trim off a few of the ends but that's pretty much it I finished up the that whole wood pile another branch pile down there and this thing has handled logs that were almost too big for me to pick up it didn't bend it held them nice and solid and tight <clears throat> The only limitation is the logs have to be wide enough to fit on those teeth on the center, which I think is about two inches. It's about two inches wide, so that's about the, the limit on the small size of your log. And sometimes, uh, if your logs are nice and straight, you're not going to have a problem, but sometimes at the end they got a little curve to the branch. Just make sure that curve is pointing up. You do it down, it's going to hit the ground. It's really not a big issue. I can't see any other log holder doing any better than this one on the market. Most of them come on stands. They'd probably be either offset by the weight of the log, wiggly, wobbly, not hold it firm. It's hitch mounted. It's solid in your truck. It's not going anywhere. Once you get your log in there, it's pretty easy. It makes it safer, makes it less frustrating when you're trying to cut logs and they're moving all around and you have to constantly readjust. You don't hit the ground and dull your, salt, your chainsaw blade. I mean, it's, five stars for me I love this thing it doesn't necessarily make it any faster um, because you still have to as you can see load the logs on there move the logs out of the way so it's not really any faster but safer less frustrating easier better on your chainsaw blade a little bit better on your back I highly recommend it recommend the jaw boss log holder I'll put a link to it in the description I purchased it I believe off of eBay as a matter of fact I couldn't find it on Amazon so yeah Hope you enjoyed this video. If you are heating your house or going through a lot of firewood and you need to make use of all the wood that you have, I highly recommend getting a log holder like this one. It's gonna save you from injury, from frustration, and everything I talked about. So thanks for watching. Thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe.